Okay, welcome. In this Photoshop Elements Oven tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rotate your canvas and replace the color of your eye with the color replacement tool to something other than the color you have now. First, we need to rotate our canvas or our image. We're going to select Image, Rotate, 90 degrees right. Okay. As you can see on the right, I'm getting these scroll bars, meaning that my picture isn't quite fitting on the page. I can go up to this square to see if it makes it better, but as you can see, it makes it smaller. So that's not helping. I can double click, and it still makes it smaller. So the only choice left that I have is to make the image fit in this space I have. So I'm going to press Control zero to fit the image on the page. Now you can see the scroll bars are gone. Now I'm going to press Z e on my keyboard to give me the magnifying tool, or this one, right here, the zoom tool. I'm going to zoom over one of my eyes. Next, I'm going to hit B to get the color placement tool. You can press B over and over and over, or you can just press and highlight it. Now I'm going to select color. I want to make my eyes purple. So I'm going to choose a nice dark purple to see what it looks like. These are the color numbers, just in case you want to keep them for yourself. So I'm going to hit OK. You can see my brush is a good size to my eye. Make sure that your brush is. You can go over here to brush and click the down. Make sure that you're changing your diameter. Okay, I can change. See, this makes my bigger. I'm going to go to about, I think 40 is a good size. Okay, let's change the color. You can see that I've chosen a very extravagant purple. Now I'm going to move the bottom scroll bar over and do the same thing to the right eye. Now I'm going to go back to the left to make sure I haven't missed anything. Fix it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to press Control Zero. And there you go. I have purple eyes. Now, I want to have a little bit of lipstick down here. So I'm going to press D and zoom in to my mouth. I'm going to take the foreground color and change it to a nice soft pink. As you can see, and press B. As you can see, my brush is too big to go to the corners. So I'll have to use a smaller brush to get on. Now I'm going to, you see I messed up right here, so I'm going to pick the eyedropper tool and pick the color of my face, take my brush tool, and just paint over it just a little bit, just where I messed up. Now I'm going to switch the color back to pink. I don't remember where, so I'll do my eyedropper tool. And I'll just carefully repaint over what I missed. And press Control Arrow, and now I have lipstick. This is the conclusion to the tutorial. I hope you enjoy, and I hope that you get more creative with color replacement.